Hello and welcome to the Reapers. Today we're in our AJS 37 Vegan and we're looking at using the BK990 guided by F10 map markers. Now it used to be fairly awkward and difficult to use the BK90 because it's, it needs waypoints to navigate. The only way to put net waypoints is was in the mission editor or with the data entry computer here. Either way it was a pain in the butt so I rarely use them. Now it's really easy, like really easy with the F10 map markers so let's show how easy it can be. Master menu to standby F10 map. There is us. There is our target. So let's create a waypoint with name point tags or names on there. Waypoint select. First, we're going to create an ingress waypoint. It needs to be about 10 miles at least away from the target. So I'm going to put one there just because I can. I'm going to call it Bravo One. It means Bravo is navigation waypoint, and a mic is a target waypoint. Next waypoint on the target called mic Two. And just for fun, why don't we have an X fill waypoint over here as Bravo 3. So navigation waypoint 1, attack waypoint 2, navigation waypoint 3, and that's the end of our waypoint chain back in the cockpit. Controls we're going to need to use today are kneeboard, like that, kneeboard page left, kneeboard page right, Car data cartridge page left, data cartridge page right, or up and down as we've got here. Okay, so kneeboard on. Cycle right to the correct page, which we will find there. Uh, we've got da data cartridge zero selected, so we're going to go data cartridge left or up, I think it is, to 14 from the F10 map, three marks. Perfect. Put in our data cartridge down to our data entry computer. In ref longitude latitude 9099 LS SKU for entry. Wait for the display to be zeros. Out. Act pause, default position, sanity check, Bravo 1, make sure it's about the right distance away. Yes, it is. Bravo 2, make sure it's the right distance away. It is. 3, something you should always do. It is. Back to, always back to here. Set the weapons up. Rotary dial, right click, 2, attack. Don't need to change this. Siri is good for that. Valby to standard for the BK90. Into navigation mode. Turn our this dude off. Full power. Gear up, rotate, whoopsie, a bit hard. Navigate to waypoint one. Closing in on waypoint one. And it's switched to waypoint two, which is our attack point mic two, so let's turn in now. That is a big turn, there he is. On target, master mode two, attack. And let's talk about parameters. We've now got to get within parameters. We've got to get between Mac 0.7 and 0.9, which we are. That's good. We've got to get below 500 meters AGL. So we're going to switch our radar to lower altitude AGL. And we will get our uh, chap. Our altitude will be showing. Oh, it's just there against the sky. It's hard to see. 150 meters. So we just can go a little bit higher than that. Keep the speed. Check the distance, 15 kilometers. Right, we've got to go a little way to go before we can fire. Altitude's still good. Speed's still good. Our ranging bar is now active. This chap here, once this horizontal ranging bar shrinks and gets within that, and that we are good to fire, at which point we press and hold that and press that per release. This uh, altitude is still good, 200 meters. I'm going to go a little bit higher. Speed, still good, Mach 8.2. And we're in firing range. Fire, 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 a whole ripple of the mothers. There's four missiles off, automatic spark control on. And let's watch our missiles. Gonna hurt. Really gonna hurt. Oh, one of them missed. It's just how I've got them set up. Boom! One set of destroyed vehicles.
So that's how easy it is now. Even I can do it like in the middle of a really complex mission. It's just so easy and it's great. Next we'll do the RB15. It's going to be made simpler now by the F10 map markers, but we're still going to have to shift around BX coordinates and whatnot on the radar. But it's still simpler than it was. I hope that helps and see you later.